Kia ora, it's your boy Michael and welcome back to another video and today I've never been so excited about plants or posting a video about plants because I received my Alocasia collection Well if you don't know, I'm more of an Alocasia kind of guy I am really fascinated with their leaves the texture and how the leaves really look like when I started I was really looking into alocasias but alocasias were really really expensive the thing with alocasias they are one of the hardest plants to take care of most of the people who have alocasias would say they would have only one or two leaves at a time and not only that they also like finicky they are also magnet to spider mites and trips and that's also another reason why I didn't really want to to spend money on type of plant that I know I won't have experience and before we do unboxing of the allocations that I got from Trade Me I do really want to show the first allocation that I got it's with me for almost two years now um, but honestly for the whole time it only gave me one new leaf and this is the allocation Amazonica you can see how pretty the leaf is like you won't see this anywhere it's very well known in New Zealand it's really available anywhere I think I only got this for 15 or 20 dollars this is the biggest leaf and it gave me this new leaf when I got it like almost two years ago and after that it just didn't give me anything at all it's doing well I guess I mean it doesn't really it didn't give me new leaf but it didn't die or anything so I think it's doing good but definitely this will fall off soon and the second alocasia that was given to me by my friend is this alocasia bambino um, it's basically the same looking as the amazonica but it's just small one so this is like mini alocasia um, amazonica so next would be unboxing of the alocasias that I got online let's go <laughs> alright so I have two boxes that I want to unbox with you today. Hopefully the plants are not damaged. Okay. Let's see. Oh wow. Oh. I already can see yellowing some leaves. This is the Alocasia Frydeck. Unfortunately, I think I'll lose two of the leaves. This one is already yellowing. This is good. Another yellowing, but let's see. Maybe it will bounce back, but not sure. Next one. Oh, this is one of my most favorite alocasia. This is the alocasia dragon scale. Unfortunately, lost one leaf. I'm not sure if it was, it was shipped like this. Third one is the Alocasia Yucatan Princess it's well known for its pink petals fourth one this is Alocasia Scalprim long and the texture is really really nice just additional FYI also known as Samar Spear the reason why is because this Alocasia is from Samar Island in the Philippines and now Plant. Ooh, ooh. I'm really happy with this. I thought it was just two leaves, but they gave me three leaves. This is Alocasia Mellow. Alocasia Mellow. You can see how nice the plant is, like the texture. The next thing I'm gonna do is to repot of these five plants, five Alocasia. So the substrate I'm using for my allocations would be this is a combination of perlite, a little bit of pine bark, um, a little bit of uh, tree fern fiber, and also uh, lechuza pond. I don't really know the proportion of each, but I just mix them. For sure, I would need more because this I've used it in my previous repotting video. Yeah, no, I don't measure. I don't measure things. Like aeration. Use the hands. Okay. 
Okay, I'm also gonna use a self-watering option for my allocations today. I purchased five pots specifically for them. It's with this in a wick that's on the bottom and a pot that would be holding the water. Um, allocations, they say that you need to test or poke your finger uh, on the top soil if it's dry two to three inches on the top then that's a time that you actually want to water but they do really um, can survive in more drier compared to moist um, but I've seen a lot of plants as well where they say like that but it would survive with like water so hydroponics so yeah plants sometimes is really amazing so this is what a self-watering pot looks like so this wick will be submerged in water and once the plant or the root of the plant will need water it will get it from this wick so that's just how it is I forgot the term is um, yeah wicking system or something I forgot the term we're gonna start with the allocation scalpering so as you can see very very nice roots I'm gonna do this alocasia dragon scale. Hydrogen peroxide and two parts water. Just spray for additional oxygen. Third one, the Alocasia Fridec. As you can see, roots. Got the bulb or the corm. This is where Alocasia's start. That's really good. Spray again with hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Space in the bottom. Put it in spot. Next, uh, Alocasia Yucatan Princess. Ooh. Spray. And the last one, Alocasia Mellow. Soil. Now the Alocasia Bambino. Um, it's really dying, so it might not like how it is now. I'm gonna give it a nice bath to remove all the billy bugs that I had before. Uh, I already have sprayed it and I can no longer see any but I still want to make sure that I don't have before I'll be moving it to its new home with the other allocations. Uh, oops. Oop. You saw one corn just came off. Another one here. We have lost a lot of roots, broken a lot of roots. I'm kind of stressed just doing this. I think I'm more stressed than the plant. All right, so I have this Alocasia bambino all cleaned. Has nice roots. Um, I'm thinking of putting hydrophonics in the other one in a regular pot just in case that um, it would not survive in the hydrophonics so how I do this I have this pot with hydrophonics like a okay, maybe until this bottom Let's see how it goes nice one but it's just dying <laughs> The 
last one would be this Alocasia Amazonica. I'll be putting it in the same pot, but I just want to change the soil. It's because it might not just be liking it. And also, so, so far, we already have two corms. Maybe we can get more from here. I have this plant way over almost two years now in this pot. For an old plant, it doesn't really have much. It's weird, something actually is covering the whole thing. I think I've seen this before, but I thought it was the corm. So I think that's the reason why this plant is not really growing because something is holding it back. The, this, this is like a web or some plastic. I think when they propagate it, they put something around it. So we have how many? Two from the Bambino and five. Okay, let me just go ahead and go to the sink and clean this maybe. So I managed to clean this last um, alocasia that we'll be replanting today. It has quite a nice rooting system that I managed to salvage. I removed the um, like web or plastic looking thing that was covering the whole um, bottom of it. Uh, so I'm gonna be replanting it to this spot. Um, it's also kind of like self-watering option is because the length of this spot is something like this and it has like maybe two inches on the bottom, the space. So what I usually do is I have this polyester cord that I put in the bottom. So something like this. I just want to go around so I have something like this I just rub it around inside this cord will be sitting in the water and it will act as a wick in a uh, wick and I also want to use a plastic or transparent um, orchid pot is because I can see how the roots are are rather than opaque ones where you can't see the inside and it's also easier to see if you need to water the pot or not it's because you'll be able to see the condensation or the moisture inside the pot rather than the non-transparent ones okay so this all right so i did manage to repot the plants already um, so again, let me just do a recap. This ends the whole video of me repotting and replanting my allocations. If you have any question about this video, just comment down below. If you have any suggestion of what video you want me to do next, just also comment down below. So I'll definitely give you guys an update um, in regard to my self-watering pots using the tree fern fiber pond and also a perlite. Thank you again guys for watching this video. If you have any question, or any suggestion what video you want me to do next just comment down below if you have anything you want to say please just post it that's all we need in this world right now positivity if you're new to this channel just don't forget to hit the subscribe button which is located somewhere else like this video and again see you on my next video <laughs> bye